dare summon me? After all this time of not being called upon, now you want something. You impudent mortal. Wait. Where's your robe? What the hell is this place? And why do you look confused? You summoned me, did you not? <laughs> Say something! Who do you think you are, calling upon me like this and then not even paying your respect? Do you not know any demon etiquette? It's rude to greet a demon with fear and silence. Unless you're mute. In which case, fear would still be impolite. Are you? No? That's what I thought. Then answer! What do you mean? Accident? You have my goddamn sigil on your floor, embedded in fabric, even. How am I supposed to believe this was an accident? What the hell is an Etsy? <laughs> Never mind. But you spoke the words too! And everyone knows you don't just practice demonic rituals for fun. You're trying to tell me. You misread your coursework? That is plain insulting. But... But you even got the offering! And it's my favorite at that! It, it, it even says that in my grimoire! Which... You don't seem... To have. Oh, for fuck's sake! This is bullshit. I cannot believe that after all this time, I finally get summoned again. Because of a stupid accident! Ugh. And... Now I can't even leave until you sell your stupid soul to me for whatever bullshit your greedy ass demands. Ugh, alright. What do you want? So I can go back to... A boring ass eternity in boring ass hell. Oh, come on! Speak up! I already told you how insulting your behavior has been! Ugh. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> you really know nothing about me, do you? No! I won't! help you with your research. I'm not a knowledge demon. You'd have to fuck up somebody else's ritual for that. Well, of course I'm mad. You would be too. Everyone just forgot about me. I used to be called all the time. And, and then suddenly? I'm not good enough anymore? Or those bastards lost my books. Either way, I have every right to be upset. And now, 
when I was just getting excited about being summoned again. It turns out to be an accident. Yes, I was excited. I was just being angry for the dramatics. But now, I'm actually pissed off. You just have my sigil laying around because you think it looks cool. And black really isn't my color at all. No! I don't like it. Imagine if somebody took your family crest and put it on whatever color you hate most. You don't have a family crest. Of course. How silly of me to not have known I am absolutely chastened. <sighs> whatever. Uh, I guess I still haven't told you who I actually am. Even though it is insulting to have to do so. Looks like I've got no choice. <clears throat> I am a luck demon. My primary colors are green and yellow. Often making people think I'm a money demon because they mistake the yellow for gold. Stupid mortals. Never think anything through. And, now that I think about it, how is your kind always so fucking materialistic? You people act like money and fame are the only things life has to offer. Though, I suppose you did ask for help on academia rather than money. Still. You may not be greedy like the rest, but you're stupid trying to sell your soul for research. Like, who would do that? Who would be willing to sacrifice their entire afterlife peace over some goddamn Latin? Hmm? It's a dead language for a reason. circles of hell and beyond did I end up to have to deal with people like you. By Lucifer, humans are stupid. Don't look at me like that. I can never get behind you, weirdos. Human freaks. Buffoons. Yes, I'm calling you stupid. Dare I say, dull. Simple-minded, even. <laughs> I have to admit, this is a lot more fun than sitting around in hell. Yes. Your idiocy is amusing to me, mortal. Ugh. I still haven't introduced myself. Normally I wouldn't have to. <clears throat> they called me... Felicitas. Bringer of Prosperity. As it says on the tin, I can grant you luck, success, and anything tied to it. Oh, and, uh... The summoning alone entitles me to your soul, by the way, so... Do something with it. Hmm... You make a point, surprisingly enough. I've never thought about staying in the mortal realm before. Hell really is boring as hell. 
I guess it wouldn't hurt. You know what? Maybe I will. But you owe me. Yes, yes, you summoned me, you got me out of hell, blah, blah, blah. But you did insult me. Like a lot. I will be gracious enough to overlook it. But only if you let me stay in your... apartment. And I will accept nothing but being treated like the powerful demon I am. That means I'm not your pal or your friend. And I sure as hell won't be some kind of caretaker for you. Wipe that stupid grin off your face, mortal. Good lord. How unlucky can a luck demon be? First, they forget about me. And now, this? Uh, I guess it's better than being stuck down below. With nothing to do than sit around. Oh, don't look at me like that! You're not supposed to feel sorry for me! You just keep, keep humiliating me. <laughs> Us demons don't make friends. And I highly doubt company would make things more enjoyable down there. Those demon bastards are always either rude and think they're better than everyone else, or completely and utterly useless. So no, most demons do not make for good company. I honestly doubt you'll be any better either. But at least you humans have uh, more than just fire and rocks up here. And there is a lot less screaming of condemned souls being tortured too. The air is much more refreshing, and the colors aren't as straining to the eye, either. And since you're an absolute moron, I can't just take your soul and run with it. It wouldn't be fair. <laughs> oh, why are you surprised? Of course demons have rules and a sense of civility. Who do you think we are? Wild animals? Satyrs? <sighs> Just when I thought you couldn't get any more offensive. There you go. Taking the bar and running with it. <sighs> Why did I ever agree to this? Yes, I technically haven't agreed yet. But it would be a waste to pass on such an opportunity. And your soul's already mine. So it's a win-win for me. I haven't gotten out of that dungeon in what must have been hundreds of years. And this way... People will at least have something to remember me by. Rather stranger on the street than nobody at all. <sighs> ah, you're right. If I plan on staying for a while, I'll have to change my form. Fit in with your weak, weird-looking kind. Much better. Oh? What's with that expression? Are you having a stroke? You can't die on me just yet. Our deal's barely started. 
Hey. Look at me, dimwit. My eyes are up here. A little further. There you go. Now, despite this human form, I expect you to pay me your respect. Got that? What? Do you have a problem with my horns? Really? Good. And for the time being, I will take on the name Felicity. But don't you dare get cocky now. Otherwise, I'll have to punish you personally. And while it would be satisfying to hear your pathetic screams as you beg for mercy, it would still be annoying. So behave. Understood? Good pet. Now pass me that bowl. Yes, the sweet stuff. Yes, I'm eating it. You summoned me. Forgot? Therefore... I am entitled to your soul and an offering of my preference. Now give me that! And no, I'm still not helping with the Latin. 